Hi guys, welcome to this Team of the Week 9 predictions, guys. Looks a very decent Team of the Week up ahead, guys. So if you can smash the likes, we much appreciate. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jay's Legend. All the links are down below, guys, for respective social media and playlists on the channel, guys. So let's jump in, guys, to Team of the Week 9. First off in goals is Dan Randolph, guys. He made about 6 or 7 saves for Republic of Ireland in their 1-0 win and really stood out, to be honest. Might be the only shot for a decent rate goalkeeper this week. Next is Carvajal, guys. He was a standout in the 4-0 win for Spain with two assists. Looks like a nice little card and could be the first in form of many for FIFA 17. Next is Lee Yoon, guys. He has got always a man for assists, um, not just assists, but for in forms. He got a goal and a, an assist for Mexico in their win over the United States. Looks a nice card and will be slowly pushing towards that 80 plus club in no time. Next is John Sector, guys. He got two goals for Germany in their 8-0 win over um, San Marino. Looks a nice card and will be a cheap inform that I will be very much looking forward to. Always enjoy his normal non-rare card. Next is Brozovic guys, got two goals for Croatia. Looks a nice little card and for me looks a kind of shoe-in for a cheap inform. Christian Eriksen guys, he was a standout for um, Denmark. He got two goals, while one of them was a penalty I would say due to the lack of decent rate candidates he will be a kind of a good shout this week and for me will be a popular choice especially if it stays in a central position. Next is Victor Moses guys, he played absolutely amazing for um, Nigeria in their win against Algeria and for me looks a good shout for this week's team of the week with two goals. Will be popular especially in time for potentially any player of the month. Serge Gnabry guys, he bagged himself a hat-trick in Germany's win and to be honest I think it's kind of the most guaranteed this week. We'll look at a very popular choice from Arsenal and Werder Bremen fans alike. Lukaku guys, he got himself a couple goals and an assist for Belgium in the 8-1 win. For me, looks a powerful, powerful card. I'm going to guess an 86 rate just due to the scream card, but we'll see what happens with him in due course. Bolotti guys, he should have had an inform last week, didn't happen, but he got himself two goals and an assist for um, Italy in their 4-0 win and looks a very tasty cheap inform if it happens this week. Mertens also got two goals and an assist in the 8-1 win and will be the second Belgian card most likely in the team guys. Popular choice and I believe it's also a position change to a right wing so it could be a popular choice. Let's go to the bench and reserves guys. Goalkeeper wise for second um, for subs is hard guys. I went for Ovono a bang. Um, he made eight saves for Gabon and will be a very nice card. Especially with hopefully all stats over 70 and will be a very overpowered silver goalkeeper. Chris Brunt guys, he got himself a goal and assist in the 4 0 win for um, Northern Ireland. Played really well and for me, despite the lack of pace, will still be a popular silver in form in the BPL. Duffy got himself a hat-trick of assist guys for Sheffield United in their win and to be honest will be a very popular choice and for me will get a nice tasty boost. Ninkovic guys, he got two goals and an assist in the 4-1 win. Looks a nice card, could, I think he always gets an inform about this time of year I believe and this could be the first of potentially many yet again. Sodomo looks a very cheap and very impressive um, winger card guys. Despite the lack of defence on him, ignore that, um, got himself a good bit of run of form in the game in Seri uh, Ser uh, Calcio B or Serie B, whatever you want to call it. Looks a nice little card and for me could be a cheap silver in form to consider with his two goals. Fernandez for Elche by two goals. Um, believe it's going from a sentiment to a cam, despite the lack of pace, will still be very cheap and actually might be one that could be worth nabbing on the old discard for keeping in mind for any squad builders or so forth. Kyle Vassell guys, he could be the only bronze in form this week and will probably merit it with a couple goals that he got and also two assists, so cheap, good pace and good stats all around for a cheap bronze in form. Um, Joseph Martinez um, got himself a hat trick, guys, in 3 0 win. L always popular, very powerful, and for me, will be one to have. Martin Scuttle, guys, for me, could get in, but um, he got himself a goal for Slovakia in the, their 4 0 win. Got a nice little boost on him. 
Like Steiner got a goal for Switzerland in their 2-0 win guys, looks a nice card, always has a popular card and will get the nice deserved boost on, on his card that he deserves. Memphis Depay got two goals in their win f over Luxembourg and to be honest, he kind of was the difference maker for them and for me it looks like a card worth having and gets a nice little boost to help him out. And Neymar guys, he is potentially the hardest choice to consider but because he got a goal and an assist in the game against Argentina and that was kind of a big game for my personal opinion I think he will get in this week's team of the week and it also gives us the very high rated option that kind of the team of the week needs and will be heavily sought after especially with Bale being in last week's Neymar this week I think will be getting an informed be the first of many and potentially pushing towards that 97 98 rated card that he might have come team of the year guys so all in all this is the tasty team of the week with some options to consider guys let me know in the comments down below if i've missed anyone out for team of the week nine and hopefully it proves quite juicy guys thanks for watching guys remember to smash the like sub to the channel if you're new follow me on twitter at gsl take it easy guys and i will see you all later